Hi guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, today I'm back in the warehouse. Um, if you didn't see our last video, we were out and about um, playing with penny farthings, um, showing the different breaking techniques. If you haven't seen that video, I'll stick a link in the top corner now to that one. But today, we're going to be talking about cutting seat posts down. Um, for people that don't know, cutting seat posts down on unicycles is a fairly common thing. And for a lot of people that are just new to unicycling, they're a bit like, Ooh, I don't want to cut my seat post down, I'll buy my warranty. But we're going to go through all that today and the bits and pieces that we're going to need to cut seat post down. Just basically so you can make that unicycle a little bit smaller so you can get on and ride it. Um, yeah, hi, me again. Um, he missed off one little point. The, one of the main reasons why you cut seat post down, obviously, so riders can get on it, but to stop the seat post, I should say, going right the way through the frame and starting to rub on the tire like this, which is not going to work, is it? The unicycle's not going to ride. Um, if he misses anything else off, I'll interrupt again, but let's get back to him. Right. Other than that, let's get to it. Right. So here's all the bits that we're going to need. Um, firstly, this is our unicycle that we're going to be cutting the seat post down on. This is a 16 inch leaf um, with its seat post right the way at the bottom, just before it pokes out the bottom of the frame. Um, so as you can see, the saddle doesn't go all the way down. So this might not fit the shorter rider. Um, don't pay any attention, this unicycle doesn't have any cranks in it. We're not going to be talking about that bit, just the seat post and the saddle. Next, for cutting the actual seat post down, I have a hacksaw and a file. Um, you can use a pipe cutter as well. Um, I just don't have a pipe cutter today. Um, if you don't know what a pipe cutter is, here's one. And obviously this does the same job as the hacksaw, cuts a big bit off the seat post, and then you would use your file to smooth off any edges so it'll go nicely back into the frame. And then the other two little bits that I've got is a tape measure and a pen for marking seat post. These are not necessarily needed, but sometimes it's just easier to just give yourself a quick measurement, know how much you need to take off, and then you can mark it with a pen, and then you know where you're going to be cutting. Um, so other than that, uh, I'll set this camera down and we'll take this seat post out and go from there. Right, so what we're going to be doing with this one is we're going to be taking this amount of seat post off the bottom so this saddle will go right the way down and touch the top of this clamp making the unicycle as small as it can be um, quick way of doing that is if we grab the tape measure and measure the bit that is protruding which is about 70 mil then i can open up my quick release take my saddle and seat post out put the unicycle to one side and then what i want to do is measure that 70 mil again up from the bottom of the seat post so, da, 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 where is it? and then obviously use my pen give it a little mark something that i can cut to and get rid of that and then obviously see i've just put a little mark on that seat post there just so i know where i'm going to be cutting and obviously take the hacksaw and we'll just And there we go. Obviously, you just cut through that. Um, as you might have saw, I got a bit of wood to lean on. It made it a bit easier. Let's cut through the seat post. So obviously, that's the bit that we've got off. Next, get our little file. And obviously, where we've cut through, it's going to be a bit rough around here. So. Give that a bit of a file. Take off any rough edges. There we go. Um, any, if there is any rough edges or burrs on the seat post, when you put it back in the frame, it's gonna snag and it doesn't really wanna go in properly. Um, so we'll grab the unicycle again. Pop the seat post in. Oh there, see, see how lovely that slides in. And then, oh, close the clamp. And you can see, there we go. I've cut that bit of seat post off and now the unicycle goes 
as small as it can do and the seat bus is not popping out of the bottom. Right, and there we go. I've taken a little bit of seat post off the bottom of the seat post in this unicycle, making it so the saddle will go the lowest it can for the shorter riders. And you saw halfway through, I got a little bit of wood to re <laughs> rest on, I should say, um, which made that a little bit easier. Um, if you've got a vice, that'll make it even easier. Um, and I mentioned at the start of the video, customers has been a bit worried about this voiding their warranty. This doesn't void your warranty. We know that unicycles need the seat post cutting down. So it's a fairly normal thing. So don't worry about it. Um, if we go for a little walk into the warehouse, um, and if I just spin the camera around a little bit, um, you can see that the warehouse is still very empty. We are still waiting on our big delivery, which was supposed to be the end of July. It's now unfortunately moved to the first week of August, potentially the second week. Um, but like I said, we're working very hard to get, get it all in, get it all on the website as quick as possible. Um, and other than that, if you could like, share, subscribe, I think it changes every time I ask you, but if you could do one of them things, it would be much appreciated. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys.